Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to create a crystal report. First, we will design a simple UI that allows you to filter records between two dates. You need to install Dapper from Nudget. Dapper is a high-performance micro-ORM supporting SQL Server, MySQL, SQLite, SQLC, Firebird etc. Object relational mappers have been in use for a long time to eliminate the impedance mismatch that exists between the object and data models in an application. Dapper is an open-source, lightweight ORM developed by the Stack Overflow team that's very fast compared to other ORMs primarily because of its lightweight. Dapper was built keeping performance and ease of use in mind. It provides support for both static and dynamic object binding, using transactions, using stored procedures and also bulk inserts of data. Now, we will write query to filter orders between two dates. You need to add a connection string to the app config file. We always use connection string in forms that we design, but when you design a big software you should set the connection string for once and use it in many forms. In this method you use the name of the connection string instead of the connection string text. Every time you want to change the connection string just change the main connection string in the app config file. By this method you don't need to change all of the forms in your project. Just change the connection string in the app config.
you need to create an orders class to mapping data return from SQL. You need to add a binding source to data grid view. The binding source component serves two purposes. First, it provides a layer of indirection when binding the controls on a form to data. This is accomplished by binding the binding source component to your data source, and then binding the controls on your form to the binding source component. All further interaction with the data, including navigating, sorting, filtering, and updating, is accomplished with calls to the binding source component. Second, the binding source component can act as a strongly typed data source. Adding a type to the binding source component with the add method creates a list of that type.
you need to create an orders details class to mapping data return from SQL. We will get current orders, then get orders details by order ID. You need to create a new crystal report, then add a data source to the crystal report and design a simple orders report.
you need to add parameters to the crystal report.
Now, you need to create a print form. To run the crystal report you need to set use legacy fee to runtime activation policy is true. Thank you for watching this video.